So when did you move to Alameda? In uh, February 2001. Why'd you move? Uh, because uh, they were working on an apartment I was living in in Oakland and renovating it, and uh, I had to leave. I had to find a place to live. So luckily I found this apartment in Alameda that my landlord owned, and I've been there ever since. <laughs> did you always live in Oakland? No, I was born in New Jersey and lived there till I was, till I graduated college in 1972, and then I moved to California, wound up in Oakland. How was New Jersey? Was it fun uh, uh, to grow up? Uh, yeah, yeah, we in the snow and sleigh riding and Little League, Boy Scouts. It was kind of fun. It was a small town called Cedar Grove, New Jersey. Um, how is it different than it is today in New Jersey? I haven't been back, but I think uh, they have a lot of new things, you know. That was before there were uh, computers. And they had big computers. Before they had uh, CDs and Boy, they had a lot of modern things, so it's uh, it was quite it was uh, kind of semi not rural semi suburban town, so it's advanced a lot, I think. Did you have a TV or a radio? Yeah, we had a well, first. We had an old black and white TV in the fifth, late fifties when we moved there, and then we got a color TV, the, the non the uh, old analog TVs. And, you know, I watched it in between doing my schoolwork. <laughs> and, let's see, uh, we used to do things like, uh, let's see, we would, uh, I wasn't very good with bikes, but we rode by the freeway to this drive-in and a little scary riding on the free by the freeway. <laughs> Did little things to break things up, make things more interesting. Why'd you leave New Jersey? Well, after I graduated college in 1972, I didn't see much happening for me in New Jersey. I didn't see many opportunities, and the weather, like I say, was kind of, I got tired of the cold in the winter and the hot weather in the summer, so a friend of mine lived in the Berkeley and Oakland area and told me about it, so I decided to try out California. Where did uh, you do you go to college? Hold on. I, oh, that's nice. Uh, yeah. Okay. So where did you go to college? I went to a uh, school called Bloomfield College. It was a. Uh, it was a Presbyterian seminary, uh, you know, for ministers, and then it became a college. And I went there. I majored in history and philosophy minor. Why'd you, oh, go ahead. Oh, why did you major in history and philosophy? Uh, well, there were two. Uh, first of all, I was kind of not a very energetic, kind of a bit of a lazy person, so it was easier. History was easy for me, and the other, uh, and I liked it. And the other subjects like math and science, I wasn't very good in, so I had to pick something. So I picked history, <laughs> but it, it was all right. And, we was a, just a general degree. We couldn't specialize. So I had Roman, Greek, Russian history, Asian history, U.S. history, African history. You name it. I had all kinds of history. I mean, uh, with with a history major, you really can't do much with it. You you could teach. You could go on and get a, a master's. I never did that degree. Maybe and try to go on and teach in the university, get a Ph.D. and write some books. I didn't do any of that, so anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, um, so is Bloomfield College in New Jersey? It's in the same town with the same oh, name, okay. Bloomfield, like Alameda College. Mm -hmm. in the, uh, yep. Um, mm -hmm. Did you do any other school work when you came to Oakland? In Alameda? Uh, I didn't do much for a while, but, you know, I guess I didn't. Well, what I did is, uh, I went to the, the junior college here. It's uh, it was called Vista or East Bay. Mm -hmm. It's in Berkeley somewhere. It's like Alameda, and I thought I might try travel, so I, I took a few travel agency courses. But travel, 
What was that? Is that something else? I think it's her phone. Oh, wow. Well, was she, you Maybe think she knows phone. about it? Oh, wow. Well. tripod she has. It, I think it's done. It might have been the printer. It's not oh. working anything, though. No? They sometimes just make noise. Oh. Uh, we can just edit that out. Yeah. So, let's see where... Yeah, so... Oh, I'll go. Well, um, oh, um... When you moved to Alameda, what were your first impressions of it? Oh, when I first yeah moved here, and I'd been here before in mm -hmm. the 70s, and I never lived here, but my impressions then were the base was here, the Navy base, which is closed down. So I didn't know this part of Alameda. I knew the other side, Webster, and there were a lot of bars, and I was already old enough to go there. Not that a bar is a good place, but a lot of Navy people would go and drink. Some people get drunk, and not really a good idea. So, um, but when I moved here in 2001, this part of Alameda, I kind of liked it. It was quieter. Uh, they had some nice shops, and um, it seemed like a safe place to be. Pretty nice people. Um, and also, uh, by then, they were getting people from other countries, from all over the world. It's like a, like a little melting pot, you know, like, say, Berkeley is, or San Francisco, but a smaller version. So I, I, I liked it, and it's gone through a lot of changes since then, more, more stores, more um, housing for low and upper income. And I guess overall it's good. Some people criticize change. But I think change basically is good if, if it's positive change. <laughs> How else has Alameda changed? You said there were new stores, but is there anything? Uh, you, oh, you mean today? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, there's more, maybe I didn't realize it then, uh, more art galleries, you know, uh, art shows. Uh, for people who are artists, they could go to these, uh, join these art galleries and do their art, and uh, I think the people in the gallery help them because it's expensive to have an art show, and they help one another, artists, and maybe musicians too, I'm not sure. They probably have stuff for mu musical and, and the other arts, like drama, uh, or the plays they do in the high school and other. So uh, it has an art scene, which is good. That, oh, oh wait, whatever that was. So that, sorry, you have to edit that out too. Um, they have they have sports things for people like sports, I guess the baseball teams and softball for adults. I think they still have that. Hmm. Yeah, that's basically yeah. Um, some of the changes. When you first moved to Oakland, how was uh, how were Oakland and Alameda different? Oh well, when I first moved to Oakland. Alameda has always been known as a safer place. Uh, Oakland has that reputation as not being safe, but it depends on what neighborhood. I wound up in, uh, I wound up in, um, I would say, North Oakland by uh, Shattuck and Alcatraz, which is kind of so-so area, but maybe you would, you could walk around at night, but sometimes there was trouble. Then I moved near the uh, Merritt Restaurant. That area was not too good. East 18th and the, uh, what's that, uh, East 18th Street and I think it's 2nd or 3rd Avenue. But even that area has gotten better. So Oakland was, had a lot of troubled areas. And, um, and then I moved to the Temescal part of Oakland. I lived there from, before I moved to Alameda from, uh, I'd say 83 to 2001. I felt pretty safe there. That's a good area. Um, I was close to Berkeley, transportation, go to San Francisco, and other parts of, like, Rock Ridge, Piedmont. So uh, I kind of like that part of Oakland. But, uh, yeah, when I first moved to Oakland, it was uh, kind of, uh, you know, kind of mixed areas, you know. What's been your favorite part about living in the Bay Area? Uh, I, th I think, uh, you know... Going to uh, films, going to the museums, 
I did that early on, you know, going to San Francisco, going to the De Young and the Asian Art Museum and the Modern Art Museum and even the Oakland Museum and the University, Berkeley University Art Museum, going to the artistic things and some musical things. Uh, and also, say, going to Tilden Park, going to Mount Tamalpais, going to, um, well, going to Santa Cruz, but that's not really the Bay Area anymore. You know, Northern California, uh, Marin County, nature places, you know. I guess that would be my favorite part or parts. Were there any big differences between New Jersey and the Bay Area? Um, California? Uh, initially, one uh, was, um, initially people seemed friendlier in the uh, Bay Area, uh, you know, but later on I met people that weren't so friendly. It's just like anywhere else. Uh, uh, where in New Jersey, uh, there were small towns, so it was harder to get around, for one thing. I lived in a small, uh, you know, they didn't have a good bus or, tr or like a BART system. So you had to depend on people to drive you around, unless you drove, and I never drove. So I, I had a friend that would take me around to different areas, so it was easier to get around here in Northern California, in, this, in the Bay Area. So that's a big difference. Um, those are some of the big, uh, yeah, those are some of the big differences. Do you have any family in Alameda? Or no, I, I don't have any family. But being that this town is small, it's growing, I have a lot of friends or people I know in the past 14 or 15 years, and sometimes they feel like family. Yeah, my family is basically in New Jersey, two brothers, a nephew or sister-in-law, and some cousins, I don't really know them. I mean, I haven't seen them since we were all the same age, and like in, in high school, junior high school, so uh, yeah, so I, so my Friends are sort of like family in a way. Uh, um, did you ever serve in any wars? Did no, I, I didn't. I know I wear a lot of this military stuff because I like wearing it and I like reading about the war, World War II. And not that I like war, but uh, so, and, and from my father and my uncles talking about being in World War II, I had an interest in it. Just in, as, as history, uh, but I never served. I could have, of course, Vietnam was going on when I was in college, so I could have been drafted, but uh, thankfully for me, I wasn't, because I didn't really look forward to ha having to be in a war. I don't think anybody does. Do you remember anything in particular about during the Vietnam War? Uh, yes, I do. I remember uh, some friends or they were high school mates who some joined, some got drafted. I think I heard later that a couple didn't make it back, you know, because people uh, get shot in wars and some don't make it back. Um, I also remember, because that's when the, the first peace protests, they have these protests now, but I think the, during the war, the first ones that I know against the war, were going on, and I remember going to Washington but I wasn't really in the peace protest much, but I had a friend that was in the Navy and he got out and he said, let's go to Washington and see the the protest. And I said, I don't think I want to go because, you know, it could be dangerous. Some people, oh, they want to face the police and the National Guard. And that really wasn't for me. And we saw a lot of uh, the hippie type generation there and and we saw protesters and and I, and there were, you know, people turned over buses, and I told a, a friend of mine was going to go uh, around the buses, and they, I said, you better not, because if you go past there, that's where the White House was, you'll probably get tear gas, and I said, that's not for me. <laughs> so I didn't do that. But I went, I went to the, the march, the protest anyway, and nothing happened to me bad, so... Uh, I remember that about the war, and I remember Kent State. I mean, I wasn't there, but reading about it, where those uh, they had student protests in Ohio, and mm -hmm. unfortunately, some students who weren't involved in the protests, weren't throwing stones, got killed because the National Guard 
used real bullets and they weren't supposed to. Mm -hmm. So that was kind of sad. I mean, they didn't know. Maybe they didn't know there were real bullets. So I, I don't know if I could blame the soldiers, the people who loaded the weapons. I don't know. It was pretty sad all the way around for everybody. And I remember that about the war. Do you yeah. remember anything else about the Bay Area during like the 80s or the 70s? Yeah. Just yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, what do I remember about? Uh, yeah, I remember when I first came, they had the farm workers, the UFW, and Cesar Chavez was still alive, and they were still protesting to get unions for the farm workers, um, you know, unionized, union grapes and lettuce, and I guess they don't have that protest now, I guess the farmers, they probably don't get everything they want, but but it's better than it was, I remember that. Uh, the Black Panthers were still around. I guess they're still around, but, you know, they had the SLA and Patricia Hearst. I was around for that when she got kidnapped and the shootout in L.A. and that group. Uh, a lot of, a lot of um, kind of, I, I consider it negative stuff. Maybe the people involved in it thought it was positive, uh, but, of course, I wasn't involved in those things. Uh, so a lot of, a lot of, uh, uh, a change, you know, uh, uh, racial strife, um, negative stuff, and probably positive stuff too. I'm trying to think what else I remember. Eighties. Uh, hmm. Well, uh, at that time, I, I had friends that drank, so we went to bars and things like that, which I knew. After a while, it wasn't a good thing for me, so I'm. So as uh, I didn't stop seeing them, I, I on my own stopped doing it. I just went because they were my friends, but for the most part, I, I didn't get drunk. But uh, I just kind of knew uh, uh, drinking isn't good. Maybe if you drink so a glass of wine with your food, if you're of age, I guess that's okay. Or a beer, but um, I remember that. I remember drugs. Uh, I hate to say it, but I guess I might as well. You know, the marijuana thing, which is still around today, and other drugs. But I had to get away from people who were doing that because they'll basically bring you down. I think that's a good idea, even at any time. So, uh, yeah. Um, you described yourself as an ordinary person. Yes. What does that mean to you? This oh, uh, well, um, I did say that, didn't I? Uh, or average person. Uh, well, maybe what I meant is when I was in school or even today, because I didn't do any great accomplishments, great job. I mean, I've done a few things, but uh, because in school I was, you know, like an average student, I didn't do a lot of sports. Um, I didn't get in a, involved in a lot of activities, but um, I was kind of a shy person then, but as I grew up I got a little more outgoing, but I don't know, it, uh, just kind of uh, not, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, uh, more of an introvert than an extrovert. I don't know if that's ordinary. Maybe it's not, <laughs> but uh, I think that's what I probably meant. Uh, yeah. What advice would you give young people today? Well, I would say... Uh, uh, probably stay in school if you can. Go to school and get your degree. But if that's not for you, uh, enter a trade. Do something with your hands if you can. Or enter you know, art or music, the arts. Or do something that you like to do. But do something that you could probably support yourself with, make a living. That would be a good idea. I think I kind of made that mistake with it's okay. I live my life. Life's not over yet either. But um, yeah, that's what I would tell young people. Uh, Did anyone uh, give you advice when you were young? Yeah, you know, I think in in high school they have guidance counselors, or maybe they do in elementary school too. I suppose I'm not sure. And they would tell you uh, 
oh, a lot of them were pushing college because that was a big thing, go to college and if you can. And that's what I did. That's the path I chose. Um, I guess they told me to, you know, try to stay out of trouble. And I'd say for the most part I did. And I did my studies. Uh, uh, I think that's the kind of advice they gave me in, in uh, school and at home. Um, you also say that um, that you want to share your story to help people avoid pitfalls in life. So, what kind you, of pitfalls did you avoid? Or well, uh, or not? but of course, some I didn't. That's mm -hmm. what I. Uh, like I say, I, I I hung around some people who were uh, they they were my friends, but later on they got involved in some drugs. So that that's the kind of pitfall I I I, I never considered myself a. a a drug addict, but I, I was around people that were, um, they were probably addicted to drugs, marijuana, and some drinking, and, but for some reason I, I, I don't know, with the grace of God, if you believe in it, uh, <clears throat> I didn't get addicted to. Uh, I don't know why. Maybe my uh, what's the word? Uh, my. Uh, mm -hmm. I didn't. I guess I didn't have an addictive personality. Mm -hmm. I guess there's such a thing as that. And maybe that's what saved me. But, but I would tell people and stay away from people doing those things if you can. Is there anything else you want to say? Um, I would just say that it's a pleasure helping you and the other young people in the group and and young people. Whatever little I I could help people by talking about myself, I uh, have been glad to do it, or am glad to do it. And I thank you for that, yes. Thanks. David, do you have anything to ask? Um, no. Okay. Hey, yeah, thank thanks you. for being here. Yeah, we, 